What's up guys, this is Austin Newman with Learning 5 where you can learn After Effects tutorials in just five minutes or less. Today, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in by making a glitch effect like this. It's very simple, we can do it very quickly, and in classic fashion, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna hit Command N on Mac to bring up a new composition, or you can go up here, go New Composition. 24 frames per second, 1920 by 1080, so that's HD settings. All right, so now that we have this, I have in the description for this video, uh, a screen glitch effect. I've linked it so you also will be able to get this. This is a 720 file so let's go ahead and scale this up. Doesn't really matter where it is as long as it fills the screen. Now let's go ahead and turn both of those off, the sound and the visuals. We're gonna take our text tool and I'm gonna type, you can type whatever you want, but I'm gonna type glitch. And I'm using the Futura, Futura bold font. I'm gonna go ahead and align that with my align tool right in the middle there. Next thing we want to do is go to layer, adjustment layer, new adjustment layer, and we are going to go to effects and presets. I've already typed in displacement map. You want to find that and drag that to your adjustment layer. Now you want to go up here to displacement map layer and make this react to the stock footage. And also drag this stock footage right between these two. And that is how you start. Now that it's starting to react, we want to go back here to effects for adjustment layer. And this is how you play around with this a little bit because depending on where you have these is how much it's going to react. So vertical displacement, you've got horizontal displacement, whatever to your liking we can do. You can go crazy with this thing or you can make it minimal. Next thing we want to do is we want to go down here to your text file, glitch. Let's go up here and search for set channels. I'm going to apply that to this right here. And then while I have my text file selected, I'm going to do Command D or duplicate two times. The first one, while you have the third one selected, hit enter and rename this one red. For the two, hit enter and rename this one green. And for the third, hit enter and rename this one blue. What we want to do is go up here and we're going to turn all of the blending modes on these to screen. Now with your red layer selected in your effects panel, we're going to go ahead and turn off green and turn off blue. Then we're going to go down to green and we're going to turn off red and we're going to turn off blue. Then we're going to go down to blue and we're going to turn off red and we're going to turn off green. Now go back up to red, hit P on your keyboard to bring up position and move it to the right a little bit. Go to green, move that to the left a little bit and blue, we're gonna move that down a little bit. And you can play with those settings to get what you want. And that's how you make a glitch effect. If you learned something, make sure to hit that big thumbs up button. Go ahead and give us a subscribe. If you wanna learn more After Effects tutorials in five minutes or less, my name is Austin Newman. You can find some of my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films. I encourage you to take a look around the channel if you're wanting to learn more After Effects. You can learn it quick and easy right here at Learning 5. And until next time, we'll see you later. Baby.